Engine 6 arrival, stage by the north end by a hydrant. Stand for. Engine 5 arrival. Well, it just happens though John lives on my floor and I come out to get the elevator and uh, I looked and I, sm I smelled and I said, there's smoke here. Yeah. And I called my wife, she come out, she said, there's smoke. So I went down to John's place and he said, don't worry about it. He says, I, I uh, shut uh, it off. he shut the phone off. But I told my wife, you and I are going down these steps. I don't <laughs> care, I smell smoke. So we went down the steps and by the time we got to the third floor, we were in on the third floor and that thing popped when we were in the, uh, what do you call it, fire escape thing, and I thought we were gone. That thing just trembled. And after that, <laughs> that's all I know. It was hard. Oh, it was something. It scared me, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yes, I think the fire department did a real good job. Thank God they, yeah. they didn't hesitate to come here. They were here in no time. Yeah. Really.
as they kind of transpired. The first to arrive on the scene were the police department, two police officers. A few seconds afterwards, an engine arrived, five firemen come in, they were investigating for the smoke that everybody could smell. And in the course of maybe two to three minutes after they arrived, there was one big explosion. And you have five lucky firemen that didn't get killed because it was one hell of an explosion, as you can see from the damage. And uh, after that, everybody was evacuated and uh, the fire department took care of the situation. But you really have five lucky firemen to be alive today after that explosion. Question, uh, how did the evacuation go? And well, I feel as though it went very well. I know uh, the firemen, I saw them carrying a poor man out that just come home from the hospital. And uh, they have to be commended for the job they've done. You uh, really have a great fire department here in Fort Lauderdale, as far as I'm concerned. About 7.45 on Sunday evening, we heard an alarm go off at 3400 Gulf Ocean Drive, South Fort Tower. They said there was smoke coming from the building. Uh, Engine 11 crew responded. We were first in. We did not see any smoke. I gave them the initial report that this was a high-rise building, stand piped, but no smoke was showing. Engine 11 crew tanked up and uh, entered the lobby with their high-rise gear and were informed by security that there was uh, smoke in the men's gymnasium. Uh, we asked the security to show us where the gym was, and they proceeded to take us down on the lobby floor to the gym area. The door was locked, the guard opened the door, and we could see smoke, and the guard uh, walked into the room, and I had to instruct him to get out of there. We closed the door again. We hooked up into the standpipe system, put our MSAs on, did our initial search, finding no fire in that room. A uh, firefighter, Andreska, and myself entered the restroom, which was directly adjacent to the gymnasium. Uh, firefighter Anglin and driver engineer Nordstrom stood um, outside in the gymnasium area. I entered it, and I found uh, very little heat in the restroom. And I did see what I think was maybe a glow coming from one area. I later found, later found out that this was the sauna. I grabbed a wooden handle on the sauna and felt, felt very little heat and I cracked the door slightly and I could see the fire start to flame up. I tried to shut the door again. I shut the door and it blew back, knocking myself down and Andreska down against the wall and uh, putting a fireball over the top of us. Uh, it knocked firefighter Anglin down and driver engineer Nordstrom down. They were in the room uh, about approximately 10 feet back. I reached over uh, and closed the door. I can remember the door was wide open. I reached over and closed the door and uh, grabbed the line, pulled the line forward and told everybody to lay down because I had to open the door again to knock the fire down. Uh, the whole crew laid down on the ground and I opened the door and I hit it with a uh, hose and closed the door. I hit, opened it up again and hit it with the hose and uh, on the third try I was able to get the fire down controlled enough to open the door and continue to extinguish the fire. Um, at this point, I reported that we had the fire knocked down, and I was in front of Lieutenant Ferrani entered the room and told us that there was a large explosion and, and instructed us to get out of there because he felt that there was going to explode again. He thought that it was a gas explosion. He thought there may be another explosion. I informed him that I felt it was just a backdraft and I had no idea how much damage had been done. We, uh, Ferrani took over the uh, salvage operation and checking for um, extension of fire in the ceiling area while I pulled my crew out to check for injuries and to go into the rehab. Uh, w as we walked out of the room, I noticed that the walls had been uh, knocked down, uh, the windows had been blasted out, and, and uh, we made our way through.